Welcome back to Skyrim Special Edition. And um, in the last episode, we finished our quest that we had uh, for the college to, uh, well, to eliminate a problem of a mage that was doing some uh, terrible, terrible things uh, in the name of the, well, she was given the uh, college a bad name. So uh, we took care of that, came back, turned it in, got another quest from Tolfdir, our old teacher. that has something to do with the uh, eye staff that we had. And it's in Falkreath. So let's look at our journal and see what we've got available here. We've got a, one that's called Aftershock. There have been reports of some sort of magical anomaly in Skyrim. Tolfder fears it is a side effect of Encano's meddling with the Eye of Magnus, and he has asked that I look into it. He suggested I take the Staff of Magnus with me, just in case. So it's called Close uh, the Rapture. Did I say Rapture? Close the Rupture. Sorry. Let's see what we have in uh, Miscellaneous. We've got someone can identify the unusual gem, investigate the ruins, find the eagles. Now, I forgot that the investigate the ruins came from that girl in uh, the college town that has the shop and she had a claw that she didn't know what it was and sold it to me and and said that it belongs to this ruins so <clears throat> this claw must do something in there in the meantime um, we got a letter from the Jarl of Falkreath where we need to go for aftershock and we've had this book that we've been carrying around forever that we need to take a look at um, and we haven't done that yet it has something to do with Helgen now, I don't think I've been to Helgen yet so I think rather than, than to read that book right now where is Helgen anyway we may travel there before to see what that's all about um, take a look at the map. See what we're looking at here. Okay, so we know where right, White Run is, and we know where Falkreath is. Falkreath is down here. I don't think we've been there yet, have we? No, we haven't been to Falkreath yet. We've got a couple of things to do there. We're close to there. So, looking at the map. Oh. We're pretty close to Helgen. How about we cross the river, go in through Helgen to check out what that's all about, and head to Falkreath, and we'll get everything done at once. Sounds like a plan. Sweet. Let's do it. First thing I'm going to do is uh, I dumped a lot of the stuff I had we are out where the air is in our uh, student housing there. But I still have things in uh, armor and weapons that I need to sell that I've collected. So I'm going to stop at this little shop here, sell some stuff before we go, and then we'll uh, head out. Is there a carriage here? I know there's a carriage that brought me here. What's this? That's the Jarl's longhouse. That's not where I want to go. It's nighttime, isn't it? I need to wait. Where is the carriage here? Because there's a carriage that brought me here. Hmm. I'm going to check this out and I'll be right back. And I want to wait till morning before we take off anyway. So let me see if I can. I'm going to sell some stuff to her. Well, shoot, I can't. Never mind. It's nighttime. She's not here. Uh, to to uh, she's sleeping. But where is the carriage that brings us here? Isn't there one that will take us back? I'm stuck. I don't get it. Huh? I've got snow in my eye. <sighs> I decided we would start our journey in White Run and work our way over to cross the river 
and uh, and check out what this Helgen's all about. As soon as this guy's done eating, spends a lot of time eating for some reason. All right, so let me go in and sell some stuff. Uh, what time is it? It is. Uh, oh, it's one o'clock in the afternoon, almost two o'clock. So the general store should be open. There's a nip in the air. The cold won't be good for my crops. Never is. Never is. Never. All right, so we're gonna go in here. One of these days, we should stop and chat with some people here in White Run. We've. Uh, Came through several Welcome times. Bellathor's General Goods. Welcome indeed. Right, it's me again. Everything's for sale, my friend. Right. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. How about everything ready uh, to be purchased? How about that? Let's see what we got. Let's sell that. I might as well get rid of that bipolar blade. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, we're going to keep that. Um... Five points of frost damage and health stamina. Well, it's not worth very much. It's only worth 47 uh, gold. Let's see. Let's keep that. Let's sell the staffs here. Staff of lightning bolts. We got to keep the staff of Magnus, though. Now, that is a 12. That axe. That one is 14. Now, we already have one that does soul stuff. So do we actually need that weapon? Let's use a uh, uh, one that's a little bit... Uh, I already know the magic, so I don't need to disenchant it. So let's sell that. And we'll keep this one up here. And uh, actually, we don't even need that axe anymore. We're using this Dawnbreaker, which is 16. But I don't know if I have cold magic yet. Uh, we'll keep it for now. Let's see what we got to sell up here. We got the amulet of Karnith, or Kynrith, Kynrith, I guess. I should probably sell that too. I don't know what to do with it. Banded iron of alteration. That's heavy armor. Don't need that. Charmed necklace. Dwindling flame boots. Um, increases fire resistance. I might disenchant that. Let's get rid of the elven armor. Unless he needs it. Let's see if that's better than what he's using. I'm talking about Inigo now. We'll keep the fine clothes. Let's get rid of the earring. The ring, uh, all these rings. The hide uh, boots. Um, that shield. We gave him a decent shield. The mage gloves. I might hang on to those just for now. And then, let's see. Those boots... Another ring, another amulet, uh, emerald, or amulet, I should say. I'm sorry. Um, we're gonna swap these things out. I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna take this one because it's got frost resistance. So let's get rid of that. Uh, I don't know why I'm keeping the Thalmor boots. You know what? I'm not. I can kill a Thalmor anytime I want. Let's just get rid of those. And I don't need these. They don't really do us any good. We'll get rid of those. We'll keep the wooden mask. Right. Okay. That should be good. Do come back. All right. Now let's see if Mr. I give Dragonfly him. I would like to take a moment to remind you that he is invaluable and irreplaceable. What? <laughs> Why? What does he do that he's so valuable? You want me to lighten your load? No. No. I want to. I want you to try some armor on for me. So, why don't you try this stuff on? I think it's better than what you're using. And it is. If it's not better, he won't put it on. So, there you go. Alright. Sweet. If you need anything else, just ask. Right, no problem. I will. Alright, let's start this little adventure. First of all, let's see if we need any water. We'll refill the skins. And I'm still debating on whether to keep the the mod in that makes me eat uh, visibly instead of just eating on the run. It's kind of a pain every time it happens, really, to be honest with you. Where's everybody going? Wow. Everybody's going into that uh, blacksmith's store there. Some are saying the Sigic monks have been seen in Skyrim. They're an ancient order. I had them figured for dead. 
Yeah, I know. I've seen them myself. I didn't know they were, uh, you know, an ancient order till I asked about it, but... They're getting around now. You know, this Archmage outfit already has furs on it. I don't even know if I need a cape. Well, except for it's, uh, it's frost resistant. All right, let's grab our horse. We're going to ride, Baldy, ride. Let's ride. Because we're going to places we've not been before, so... Is he going to catch up eventually? I keep forgetting. I take a shortcut, and he doesn't like the shortcuts. Here he comes. All right, here we go. Now, I could take a carriage to Fall Creep, but that doesn't get me where I need to go. So, and it's not that I need to go there first to Helgen, but there's several things of interest that have mentioned uh, Helgen. So, I'm thinking that might be the place that we should at least check out. Seems to be on our way anyway, so... Fish are jumping. I don't think we've been this to this part of the map anyway. So we're learning new places. I don't know who that guy was. I should have said hello and I didn't. Does that make me inhospitable? Does that make me antisocial? Does that make me... Well, actually, it doesn't make me anything, does it? Oh, wow, look at that over there. Uh, Sabertooth over there. I don't think he can get to us, so... I'm not going to worry about him. Look out, Wabbit. If I was hungry, I'd shoot that Wabbit, but... I got... I bought a bunch of food at the tavern the other night. Hey, it should Steve. be okay. Remember who is in charge here. Oh, come on. You can handle him. That horse isn't that tough. Oh, what is this? Little town. Riverwood. A place called Riverwood. Huh. There's a, t there's a tavern... Uh, what's that? A lumber mill? Riverwood... What is it? Riverwood Trader. It's a shop. Got a blacksmith. You know what? We had, uh... We had... Uh, I, I gave you that elven uh, armor there, so I don't need that stuff you had. Let me sell it. I need the money. us has to do something I said no no adventures no theatrics no thief chasing well what are you going to do then huh let's hear it we are done talking about this oh <clears throat> a customer <laughs> sorry you had to hear that is that your wife she's pretty yeah, well, I don't know what you overheard but the Riverwood trader is still open feel well. free to shop all right. Did something happen? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a, a bit of a, a break-in. We still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Really? Uh, oh, yeah. What? So I have to help him before he'll sell me anything? Because I lost the choice to buy anything. Well, fine. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northwest of town. So this is your plan, Lucan? Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Uh... uh... No, I... By the eight, fine. 
but only to the edge of town. Is that your wife? Why do you let her talk to you like that? Well, anyway, I'm here for Show something else. Show those thieves not to steal from Luke and Valerius. Yeah, fine. That, that'd be okay. Um, he's got spells. Let's see what I he's got. I think I have a few old spell books laying about. Right. If you want more, you'll have to go to the College of Winterhold. Well, I've been there, and they're, they haven't really got that much. But let's take a look what you've got. Um, I've got that there. See, look, I told you he's got oak flesh, too. Oh, my God. It was only $116 Topher, or gold that Topher had. That's more money. I, lo I know all of these. Minutes of the Lusty Argonian. <laughs> what? So the only spell he's got that I don't have is Oak Flesh. Ah, eh, bummer. All right, listen. How about you buy from me? Um, I don't know whether to sell that or not. I don't know what it's good for. It's sure ugly. It's worth a lot of money. Uh, you know what? If I sell this to him, I think I could buy it back. Let's sell that to him. And then, let's see. Let's, uh... We were going to keep that and disenchant it, weren't we? Fine boost we're going to keep. Where's the stuff that Inigo had? I didn't take it. Thanks. All right, then. I didn't take it. He still got you want it. want to do some trading? Yeah, buddy. I want to take that old I armor you had. I bear your burdens gladly. Here, give me that armor back you had. Uh, the highwayman. Yeah, give me those. What else you got you're not using here? Uh, not much. All right, there you go. Let me. I just want to sell Let's that. Go. The sooner you find trinkets, odds and ends, yeah, that sort of thing. Right. Sorry about, I, I haven't got time for small talk. Um, let's sell this real quick. And good, thank you. All right, then. All right, let's get out of here before we get into more questing. We have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. Oh, I don't have time for you this can now. You from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. Really? Okay, I didn't see much. I see the mountain. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. Okay. You got lipstick on? That's an ugly little kid. Okay, now... He told her she could only guide me to the end of town, so I'm gonna play along. I wonder why they only stole Lucan's golden claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Oh. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. What, is it? Isn't that? Is isn't she his wife? You wouldn't know. How do you find something that's solid gold? Well, I guess if you were in a ruin, you'd probably would. Anyway, he told her that she could only lead me to the end of town. So we'll play along, and then we'll kind of scoot off on our own thing. And uh, this will be a, something for another day. Where's the end of town? This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. Your He'll brother? will a fit if I take too long. Such a child. Oh, it's his, it's her brother. Wow. So are you available? Huh. She's pretty. Okay. So we go up that way instead of that way, I guess, to go up to that way. I can see something back there. All right. Thank you. Uh, come on, Inigo. Let's get on the way here. Let's travel. Let's run. Let's see, what time is it? Um, it's early afternoon. I think we still got time. Oh, that's Roach. I don't want to ride Roach. Sorry. Oh, when did I get that back on? Let's put this away. Can't do that while I'm mounted. All right, we're going to head this way, I guess. Wait a minute. I better look at the map. Right, okay, so let's head this way. And let's hustle it up. I don't want to ride in the dark. 
see if we can get there before nightfall. Again. What? Oh! My horse is trained up again. Sweet. Let's see. How about you meditate and think about what you've learned, buddy? Level four. Okay, now we did speed and uh, and strength. Uh, endurance would make the horse run longer before it gets tired. But um, I'm using the horse to carry stuff, so let's do let's do strength again. Right, let's do strength again. All right, now you go back to studying. Study real hard. And we'll promote you again in a little while. Maybe I should have went with speed. So anyway, I was about to say that things on the map look farther than they actually are. So it shouldn't be as far as it looks. It should be a fairly short trip here. What are those? Huh. Let's see what those are. Let's see what we got here. You are getting more exercise than me, my friend. <laughs> I do not mind. That looks like a wizard. That looks like a warrior. That looks like something stealthy, maybe. A thief, maybe, or an assassin. Huh. What is that noise? Oh, shoot. We got trouble, Inigo. Right, I took care of that. Okay, let's check these things out and see what this is all about. The Mage Stone. Activate. Accept. Master of the Arcane. Those... Under the sign of the mage, cast more effective spells and scrolls. Mage's path, they gain additional experience in two mage skills of their choosing. You may only have one sign of blessing at a time. Okay. Oh. Uh, destruction and restoration? Sweet. Look at that. Rest to kill. <laughs> you're dressed to... What are you doing? Get away from me. God, you're crazy. All right, something new. So we get more experience, I guess. All right, let's go. This animal is grateful that I do not weigh very much. Oh, I'll bet he is. All right, what is this now? It's a crossroads of some kind. Um, Falkreath. Okay, so that's where we gotta go, but let's take a quick look here. So we can go this way, but that looks like... There looks like there's a shorter route here. If we go around that way. Um, let's run up here and take this road in. And then we'll kill two birds with one stone. So we'll go this way. What do I hear? That doesn't sound like a wolf. That sounds like a dog. Oh, there's some guy over there whacking up some stone. All right, he's probably got a dog with him. All right, it looks like some kind of a structure in front of us here. Now, Helgen on the map looked like a town. That's a different colored fox. Oh, it looks like it's all boarded up. What the hell? Completed unbound. What does that mean? Is he coming back? Steed, try not to trample my friend. Okay, look, buddy, you need to get you need to get down. Get down. They say that dragons have returned to Skyrim. The Helgen attack does not bode well. So, I wonder if the Jarl of Whiterun knows he has a giant lizard problem. 
If not, he may reward us for the information. Oh, sweet. You're right, we should go and see how much he knows. I saw the dragon at Helgen. We will head to Whiterun as soon as possible. I'm sure he's on top of things. Um, well, he's the one that alerted me to it. I did see it, but I didn't know what it meant. So let's go with what he said. Yes, information is usually worth something to someone. And in this case, it could help save lives. Yeah, you're probably right. Prospect and Peril have always been bedfellows, but <laughs> these are strange times we live in, my friend. Now, what did you want to discuss? Um, can you get down off your horse? Okay, as you wish. Thank you. And, um... That animation with eating is starting to get to me, I think. I might change that. Let's see if we can get in here. It looks like it's closed up, but... I want to see what the dragon did. Oh, my God. So there's nobody here. What did the dragon do? Just tore this place up. Oh, my God. Helgen discovered... It looks like it's been burned, so the dragons must blow fire. Well, it's no wonder they're scared of the dragons if they can if they come into towns and just wreak havoc like this. Oh my god, this place is destroyed. Oh jeez, there's dead people here. Oh my god. Can you move please? Thank you. I was going to say it's still smoking, but there's uh, braziers here. God, they're still flying a banner. Goodness gracious. Looks like some kind of a target area. Oh, another dead guy. Uh, should we loot him? A body turns to ash as you touch it, but somehow... A leather journal survived the attack. Oh. Investigate Helgen. Read the journal. All right. Adventures journal. I think that's it. Completed. Read the journal. Investigate the cave mentioned in the journal or warn the residents of Riverwood about the dragon attack. Now, Riverwood's the place I just came from. Wow. What is this all about? This journal contains uh, several undated entries. First entry, hard to believe I filled up that whole journal already. I never realized how much of Cyrodiil I hadn't seen yet. So much diversity, yet so much destruction from the Great War. A lot of history has been lost here forever. The expedition is ending soon and everyone will be returning home. I have one last task to perform before I do the same. I'll send the other journal ahead with my supplies and the artifacts we recovered. Second entry. I've received word from my contacts in Skyrim. All seem quiet for now, probably for the first time since High King Throg was killed. I should be able to make the crossing quietly enough during the night, so long as there are no Imperial patrols to deal with. Third entry. So much for being discreet, I crossed the border near a small village called Helgen and made my way up to Darkwater Crossing. Unfortunately, I can't get back to my camp now because the area was filled with Imperial patrols. It seems they are searching for someone, someone very important. If I'm not mistaken, someone they intend to ambush here. This could be the very thing I am seeking here in Skyrim, but crossing the border in the dead of the night without passing through the checkpoints has turned out to be a very bad plan. Fourth entry. I awoke early this morning with an imperial sword pressed to my neck. A patrol found me camped under a rock on the edge of the volcanic marshes. I guess I wasn't as well hidden as I thought. I've no idea where they're taking us, but I've been stuffed in the back of a rickety old cart being pulled by an even more rickety looking old nag. At least they keep, uh, they let me keep my journal. For now. Fifth entry. Shore's bones, if only I had known sooner. The ambush, the captives in the cart with me, Stormcloak rebels. 
led by none other than Ulfric Stormcloak himself. There's no time to explain properly. I scarcely believe it myself. If it hadn't been for the dragon, I'd not even be here to write this down. Yes, a dragon. A big black dragon as large as the towers of the keep itself. It swooped in out of nowhere and laid waste to the village and the keep. General Tullius didn't take my head today or the heads of several Stormcloak rebels. But that doesn't matter now. Hadvar and Raylof set aside their differences to, the, uh, to help the survivors. They went into the lower keep hours ago. Something about caves with a, a back entrance. I don't think they're coming back. I'll have to see if I can get out of the city and down to the Riverwood. Someone needs to warn them. This building won't remain standing much longer. I still can't believe it. A dragon! Straight out of the legends. Nobody back home will ever believe me. Well, it didn't end well for him, did it? All right, Inigo, let's go see if we can find this cave he's talking about before it gets dark. Well, there's our horses. Let's look at the journal. Uh, let's click off this one for now. Let's go to this. Live another life. Investigate the cave mentioned in the journal or warn the residents of Riverwood. Oh boy, what do we do? Maybe we better investigate the cave since we're already here. Um, it looks like it's up ahead. Let's go see what we can find. This way. Oh, here it is. All right, let's put some light on. Let's be a little stealthy. I don't want to come in here and find out there's another dragon laying around. Oh crap, there's blood on the ground. Lots of it. Oh my god, lots of it. Something's been eating something down here. Are you with me? Yes, he is. You just ran right into me, didn't you? Where'd you go? What am I stumbling on? I hurt myself. Hey, look, there's somebody laying over here. Looks like he's hurt. Hadvar oh, wants me to pickpocket him. I don't want to pickpocket him. Are you okay? I came in here to see what was going on. Cough, cough. Are you mad? You need to warn Riverwood. Quit messing around and get down there. You don't understand. Complete. Investigate. Optional. Bring him a healing potion. Uh, once I'm back on my feet, we can go together and, and warn them. So long as that dragon isn't still out there. No, he flew away. Let's give him a potion of healing. All right. Wow, that was a good potion. Holy smokes. Now I can't keep up with him. What the hell was in that potion? Should be taking those myself. Hang on, buddy. God. Wait up. Completed. Get out of the cave like before it collapses. I feel like we should stick around to see if he comes back. The closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle is the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'll help you out. 
Okay, so that's the place we just came from. So this guy has an uncle there. That's pretty convenient. Wow, it's awful bright out for nighttime. Um, let me see if I need some uh, magic here. Whoops. <sighs> Alright, sorry. I just want a little light. Oh, he's going to eat again. I need to turn that off. It's, it's, it's cute once or twice, but now it's getting irritating. Okay, so there was an option to, to uh, turn it off completely or to do it only when I'm sitting. Well, I'm sitting very rarely, and usually if I am sitting, yes. it's in a tavern. Oh, I'm not so joining some army. General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. What makes you think they have the dragon? That doesn't make any sense. Who who owns a dragon? But I know it, it, I've heard that there's some kind of war going on. I don't want to be in the middle of that. I don't care where, whether what either side does. See that ruin up there? Yeah. Leak Falls Barrow. Oh, I need to go there. When I was a boy, that place used to always give me nightmares. Drago creeping down the mountain to climb through my window at night. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Okay, so we got a pretty good idea of what's in there now, Draugr, but that's been in every place, right? These are the Guardian Stones. Yeah, I found these earlier. The 13 ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Nay, Jay. Well, to each his own. It's not for me to judge. All right, good. You don't like mages, huh? Well, that's true. Most people don't. Most of the people in Skyrim, like I've said before, are scared of, ma of magic, so... Uh, generally, if you think about it, a lot of the magic that's been... that uh, goes around is bad magic. I mean, it, it hurts people, so... Oh, there's something up there. We'll have to remember that. Check that out. Sorry, I'm just gawking. Don't mind me if I'm picking daisies while we're on the way. Pick a few more. Hey, look, some toadstools. What? Look out, there's wolves up on the hill. Glad I'm getting my archery up. Oh my god, how did I do that? I just I just guessed where he was gonna be and shot that way. That was a sweet shot. Oh my god. I'm good. I don't even know where he was. There he is. Sweet. Oh that's not him, that's a rock. I lost the other one. Huh. All right. Well, I can't take all night looking. This this guy's patiently waiting. I'm glad you decided to come with me. We're almost a Riverwood. Cool. Sorry, I'm keeping up. Trying to anyway. Just picking a few berries while we're at it, or whatever those are. Yeah, this is a sweet little town. Didn't know your uncle was here. Of course, I didn't know My who you were. My told me never to trust anyone who carries around more than two ears. Do you really need so many? Who's that? Huh. Little girl hiding in the weeds. Well, wait a minute. Slow down, buddy. Feindal thinks he can move Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling you. All right, so where's your uncle? Do you not know where your uncle lives? You said he was a blacksmith. I like your robes. Are you a sorcerer from the college? All right, where's he going? This is weird. 
All right. Something's wrong with him. Um, let me go see. He said his uncle was a blacksmith. Maybe he's confused because it's nighttime. You suppose? You look like a traveler. Someone that has seen faraway places and heard new stories. Uh, yeah, what's your point? Well, so I don't know what's keeping him. Uh... Hello? Excuse me, my friend. Uh... Okay, there's a woman here. I better... Am I supposed to be in here? Probably not. There's the blacksmith. Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. Um, Hadvar said you could help me. Hadvar? <clears throat> How do you know him? Well, that's a good question. Uh, he's a friend. He promised you could help. Um, he helped me escape from prison. Okay. Let's just go with a friend. I'd be glad to help a friend of Hadvar. But you didn't answer my question. How do you know him? Oh, you noticed I was avoiding that, did you? Well, a dragon attacked Elgin and destroyed it. Hadvar and I escaped together. What? A dragon? In Helgen? Yeah. Believe it or that not. explains what I saw earlier. Flying down the valley from the south. I was hoping I was wrong about what I thought it was. Okay, yeah, no, it was a dragon, and Hadvar will tell you the same thing. A dragon? Here in Skyrim? What's this world coming to? First the war, now dragons. Trouble loves company, they say. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Well, I was heading up to Falkreath, but... Uh... Do you need any help around the forge? That's not what I need. Uh, can I use your forge? What can you tell me about Riverwood? Uh, my good blacksmith, I'm in need of cra your crafting expertise. I'm not right at the moment, but by the way, that is a mod. What it what that mod is, is it lets you, um, if your skills aren't that great or you don't have time and you've got plenty of money and you don't want to repair your own armor and weapons, you can ask the blacksmith to do it for money and he'll... Uh, He'll gladly fix your armor for you. So uh, a lot of these have to do with that mod. Um, all right. That's it. Aye. So we got to make up our mind what to do now. We were heading to Falkreath. Ha Hadvar will get up here sometime, I'm pretty sure. But uh, So we got to decide what to do now. Before the storm, uh, talk to the Jarl. We talked to Alvar, Hadvar's uncle. He asked us to go down and warn White Run. Uh, we can do that, or we can continue on. Find someone who can identify. No, we don't want to do that. Um, let's see. We went to Helgen, and that started something. Let's see what this is. Uh, read this journal entry. Helgen Reborn is ready to play. Oh, it's a. It's okay. Simply read the Helgen Reborn guide. All right, so we've got a lot of stuff happening all at once. Let's go ahead and read the, go the guide. I don't think it means we have to do something right away. Completed Helgen Reborn Startup. Okay, I'm not going to read all this right now. Uh, but we at least did that. Started Desperate Times. Desperate Times. What does it want us to do? Someone is looking for me in Whiterun. Okay. That, that's kind of appropriate if you think about it, uh, because they want me to go to White Run and talk to the to the Jarl, and there's somebody looking for me there that has to do with Helgen, which is on our way to Falkreath. So I think I'm going to spend the night here in Riverwood, and we'll continue this little adventure in the morning. Yeah, let's go get us a room. So, yep, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend the night here. And we'll continue on tomorrow.